the four Pugas, the mischievous ones. Legend has it, once they fool spirits to take their place, they're free to move on to the next stage in the journey. Presently, a disease has spread across Petropolis. People are falling, unable to stand back up. Citizens have been asked to remain at home, no matter the circumstances. And the Pukas will. They're bound to take advantage. I'm really not him. You really expect us to believe that? And then there were three. No use being enveloped in the abyss. There's a camper on nearby. Gentlemen, if you will. There once was a man stranded at sea for eight nights and eight days, while lying on his raft, the sun eating away at his scorched skin, he met a conch shell floating on the waves and captivatingly pressed it to his ear. He could hear in it a whisper, telling him things he only ought to know, things that spoke to the temperament in his soul that society never allowed to grow. And the tempting voice, she told him, for it belonged to a she, to come to her rescue. She was a prisoner in a dungeon, nearly filled to the top with her own tears. So she guided him to land, following her call. And when he arrived, as if under a spell, he punched his fist through a barrier of cobblestone, only to greet his guide and be devoured by her in one effortless gulp.
That smells delicious. It's my favorite. Yeah? I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Yeah, yeah, I'm just finishing up. What are you doing, masturbating or something? I don't think that's any of your business, is it? Besides, I have nowhere else to go. You got the bedroom of the divorce. Wasn't a divorce, you. It's a figure of speech. Start with the edges. I like to start from the center. <laughs> it's gonna take longer. You're right, screw me. I was only the Jigsaw champion for three years in a row. I beat Desmond in 99. I beat your father. You're so beautiful. <laughs> only the off original creative powers of Orson Welles could bring you so suspense, so gripping, so different a drama of love set by Benjamin. Uh, I might take you to Poison Summer uh, Club. Why? Uh, Hola. Sí. ¿Quién habla? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Eh, lo mismo que el resto del mundo, presumo. Hmm. No me parece terriblemente excitante. Humberto. Humberto. Pero mi niña, nadie, solamente como tres personas me conocen por ese nombre. Pues sí. Eh, ¿Cómo estás? Bueno. Acostumbrándome. Ahora soy una mujer libre. Mi ex marido no me hizo el amor por un año entero. Así que te podrás imaginar. Ah, ya. Yeah. Me, me imagino, sí. Totalmente leal por seis años. Después... Soltera. Y ahora ocurre esto. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Claro. ¿Te sentirías incómodo si te pido que sigas conversando conmigo? ¿Cómo? Mientras me toco. Eh... No sé si incómodo es la palabra correcta, pero... Dime, Hugh. ¿Qué edad tenía la mujer más madura con la que tú has estado? <risa> eh, ella tuvo como 55 años y en ese tiempo yo tuve como 20. ¿Y cómo fue? ¿Fue el mejor sexo que has tenido en toda tu vida? Era ahí arriba, por lo que recuerdo. ¿Qué es lo que está por ahí arriba? El techo. Tú dijiste, por allá arriba. ¿Está por allá arriba con qué? Bueno, como la primera vez que me comí un queso de flan. O también cuando la primera vez que terminé una ropa de cabeza, por ahí. Mm. ¿Y quién más está en esa lista? Eh, Michelle, Michelle. Uf, a mí me encantaba Michelle. La cantinera. Ah, perdóname, pero... ¿Cómo me conoces? ¿Con quién estoy hablando? ¿Y por qué ella era tan buena? 
Ella lo quería todas las veces. ¿Y eso hacía que fuera buena? No, pero bueno, le gustaba mi leche y de verdad era una mujer muy agresiva. Y a mí me encantaba eso. Ella siempre era así conmigo. Te voy a mamar hasta dejarte seco. ¿Así te decía ella? <risa> eh, sí, pero tú sabes que yo siempre pensé que esa era una cosa que las mujeres hacían para los hombres como un favor. Oh. ¿Y tú piensas que cuando un hombre se lo está mamando a una mujer le está haciendo un favor? Nah, qué va. Yo lo disfruto, pero... Mire, ¿con quién hablo? ¿Quién eres? ¿Y eso es importante? <laughs> I beg to differ. Do you really want to beg? Yo, who is this? Bueno, a mí me encanta cuando tú me llamas, pero ¿tú no crees que esto es un poquito raro? Porque, por ejemplo, si yo era una chica y tú un chico, esto sería una cosa completamente diferente. ¿Verdad? Como un poquito predatorio, ¿verdad? Y te estoy poniendo nervioso. Algo así. ¿Y sabes qué? Dame un segundo. ¿Y eso qué fue? Eh, ¿Qué quiere decir? Eso. ¿Quién fue? Esa, esa fue mi exnovia. Cristal. Yeah. Sí. Crystal. ¿Tú sabes qué? Podemos hablar después o algo así. Chris? I miss you so much. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't mean to wake you. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, so you have been reading. Hmm. Some weird bookmark. It's not weird, it's just torn from an ad. Just needed something to hold my place. Okay. This was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, of course. Look, you deserve to know. While you've been on the phone, I've been going on walks. You've been working those gigs again? I've been talking to people. You mean men? You're, you're an asshole. You know what happened. I've been seeing someone, okay? Are they negative? Did they get tested? Wait, did you sleep with them? You slept with them and then you had your way with me. No. I haven't, but this made me realize that I want to. I really want to. You know, you and your flings, it's, it's always the same. And it's how we got into this mess to begin with. Oh, this is how we got into this mess? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. It's me? Oh, it's all me? Yeah. What about you? What are you doing in the bathroom on the phone all the time? Who is that? All the time? Twice. Twice. Always in there. Because I want to read. I can't read in this apartment. I have no space or no privacy in this apartment. Funny, I didn't know that you read out loud. Oh, so you've been listening in on me. You're such a disaster. Cute. Good luck. Fue un error mudarse con ella, de verdad. Yo lo sabía desde el principio porque conocí sus hábitos. Es que es una persona que tiene un problema con la monogamia. Porque encuentra una persona, se enamora de él y después lo deja para otro cuando se cansa. Es como una vampira, de verdad. Mm. A mí me parece que ahí tiene que haber algo más. Como un desorden mental. Bueno, sí, tú sabes, si vamos a psicoanalizar a la gente, bueno, todos nosotros tenemos nuestros demonios. Pero ¿cómo yo voy a tener atracción para una persona así cuando yo soy la persona que necesita esta validad? ¿Y cuál fue la fascinación? ¿La atracción a cristal, tú dices? Sí. Bueno, tú eres la que siempre tiene la respuesta. La emoción de que pudiera convertirse en algo. ¿O esa era la atracción? Que estaba jodido del principio. Uh, yo creo que por eso es que yo siempre persigo cosas que terminan en fracasos. <risa> Tú también, ¿eh? Ja. Oh, sí. Todo el tiempo. <sighs> eso es el ego. ¿Qué quieres saber si la gente va a cambiar para ti? Te voy a decir un secreto. Nunca cambia. Puedo ser honesta con Dime, mamá. ¿Te gustaría que nos conociéramos? ¿Tú dices como en el futuro? No. Quiero decir ahora. ¿Y tú crees que eso es una buena idea? ¿No tienes un poco de curiosidad? <ríe> bueno, sí, a mí me encanta una misteria. Downtown Plaza. Un vestido de satín morado. Tienes ocho minutos para decidirte, ocho minutos para prepararte y el doble para llegar. No estés tarde.
There's a phone call for you. It's a woman. Who is she, Forrester? I don't know. How are you? Hey, knock it off, lady. Quit pestering me. I'm delighted you follow my suggestion. I don't know who you are, lady. But I know you, and I've planted the seed. Have I not? You are Forrester Dooley, owner of Dooley's Records. Because of quarantine, you no longer go to work every day. You've forsaken your usual come home, have dinner, go to the local pub to unwind routine. I'm going for a walk. The bars are closed. Yeah, but the liquor store ain't. Yeah, how's everything going? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a professional. Your wife has three sons. Yeah. Harry, Mark, and John. They're driving me crazy. I can't take it. I'll take care of them. My communication level with her is at like a bare minimum. Make it a cinch. You got a good memory. Your wife gets up at 6 a.m. Her morning routine consists of reading the paper, watering the plants, and calling her mother. Her favorite programs are Tara Shields and old episodes of the Ra Ra Club, reruns. She does the laundry on Wednesdays, and she loves pickles. But not jarred pickles. Jarred pickles give her migraines. Hey, and uh, we don't, uh, you know. Listen, I appreciate this, Forrester. You know, it's been lonely since I got out. You know that. Nothing like a pandemic to build a bridge over water. And she doesn't know anything about me. I, I, she knows I don't like to talk about my past. And I just need a break, man. I just need some of my freedom, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like when we were kids. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, that shirt looks good on you. It's not my choice in pattern. One last thing. Like him? It's gotta be. <sighs> These goddamn face masks, you can't tell who's what. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. That's him. That, yeah, that's him. Oh, that's him, all right. your play act. Get in the car! Get in the goddamn car. Hey, can you grab me the flower? The flower, can you grab it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I fell and hit my head or something. Well, go lay down or something. Yeah.
What's this shovel for? <laughs> You're a smart guy, you'll figure it out. I figure it's to bury who's ever in the trunk. Look, face the consequences, pal. Listen, you got the wrong guy. You're looking for my brother Bugs. My twin brother Bugs. Twin brother Bugs? Yeah. Right. You're Bugs. Bugs. I know it sounds crazy, but Bugs is my identical twin brother. We even got the same haircut right now. The exact same haircut. These, these are my brother's dog tags. <laughs> They're not his dog tags. They're his brother's dog tags. Of course, <laughs> that's what you do. You wear your brother's dog tags. Yeah, you don't wear your own. <laughs> Easy. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> Bitch. That was different. Different, but familiar. Yeah. Hey, what happened to your gut? Honey bunny? I gotta tell you something. Look, Bugs. Bugs had just gotten married, man. Bugs just got married and he didn't want to go down for a robbery and I wasn't doing so good. So he offered me some dough to do the time for him. More money than I had ever seen in my entire life. I opened up my record shop with it. My name is Forrester. I own a record shop. He gave me the money to open up a record shop. Forrester, I'm not Bugs. God damn it. He tried to set me up and the whole thing blew up in his face and now now, now he's exacting his revenge. <laughs> what, do you know how to change a tire? I don't know how to change a tire. I thought you knew how to change a goddamn tire. All you need is a jack. It's a flat tire. I don't know. I, you know, I, you this is not in the job description. Something to put something on it. I just, I, you know, we can't call somebody because first of all, there is a man in the front. Second of all, there's another man inside that we kidnapped. Man, whose name is not Bugs. His name is Bugs. It's Bugs. It is Bugs. Yeah, but he claims that he. Was hey, 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 hey! Get out of the Hold car, Bugs. Hold your horses, my friend. Get out of the car. All right, he's going for the key. Yeah, get out of the goddamn car. Get out here! Maybe he Let's knows this how to one. change a tire. Piece of shit to do. do you know how to change a tire? Do you? I, I can't even drive. Yeah, I'm really starting to bother me. <laughs> I'm really not fucked. Where'd you get the gun? It was in the trunk. They're that stupid? They are that stupid. All right, you go first. No, you. I'm driving. Tell me your story.
Thank you for calling Comics Unlimited. How may I help you? Hey, hi, my name is um, Asma, and I'm checking to see if you have any more of those uh, magazines available. Skeptic Eccentric, you mean? Yeah, I'm Skeptic Eccentric. <laughs> well, you've called our distribution center, and we're fully stocked, ma'am. Oh, gee, that's wonderful. Well, which, uh, which issue you got? You got the, the new one number on the 16? That's right, ma'am. Oh, gee, well, that's the one with um, the, the Silver Street Fox on the cover? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I really love Silver Street Fox. <laughs> I'm, I'm an number one fan. Well, we glad to take online orders, ma'am. Oh, oh, gee, uh, that, that, that is the thing. Uh, I lost my job due to the pandemonium and all, um, so I don't got the internet, but I'm... Um, um, can, can I pay over the phone? You can ship it right out if you place an order online. I get that. That's what I said. I don't, I don't got the internet. I just said that. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am? Yes? I'm sure you can find a Wi-Fi connection near you. I only got this old flip phone. <sighs> But uh, can, can I come in to pay? And, uh, I'd gladly come in to pay for the new magazine and a number um, uh, 16. That's the one, that's the one with the silver straight on the cover there, yeah. I'm afraid we can't allow that, ma'am. Oh, well, why not? Uh, regulations, ma'am. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I see. Will that be all, ma'am? Uh, 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 if you require additional assistance, feel free to chat back with us at any time. Thank you for choosing Comics Unlimited. <laughs> this is Esma. So you're looking for a skeptic eccentric number 16? No, uh, no I am. I, I, I am. Congratulations. You've just passed our preliminary phone tracing and screening. How many copies would you like, ma'am? Um, um, uh, uh, eight. Uh, just eight. <laughs> We've got your address here verified as 19 Salinas Avenue. No, 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 that's the one. <laughs> we'll see you shortly. Oh, I'll be waiting on the corner with cash. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. No, no, no. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, no. Nope. Oh. Your lace is hot in the wheel. Okay, what do we have today? Right, another mustard sandwich. Hmm. Oh. What? You don't like it? Right. You don't like mustard. I mean, that's all they have at the store right now, but it, I could at least put some ketchup in it. Unapproachable. Another unapproachable. People just don't want to have a conversation anymore. What have happened in the days where it's free? Excuse me. Are uh, you wearing one of those earphone things? One of those wireless things that I can't see? Or uh, are you uh, the real McCoy? Yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, I was just talking to myself. Didn't realize I was doing it. I hear you. Quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Actually, I, I was pretty lonely before quarantine started. What do you mean? Well, I, I just moved here, and then this thing hit, and I didn't really have a chance to make any friends, so... 
What about folks back home? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, there's there's no one back home. Fair enough. What do you do? For work? No, with your life. I'm so used to folks asking me what I do for a living. <laughs> See, not me. I ain't one of those. See, I think what you do with your life defines more of who you are than what you do to live it. Well, I recently just bought this bike, but I'm no cyclist. I just had to get out of the house. What about you? Still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Hey. Hey is for horses. So. So. Who are you? I'm Jake. Oh, who are you? Who am I? Yeah, see, I am an astronaut trapped in a foreign timeline because Angie Universe. So, let's try that again. Oh, well, I'm a crayon trapped inside a box full of markers and then, uh, my tangent universe, we're really good friends. Huh. Guess my name. Uh, Alicia. I go by Lane. Yeah, but in uh, my tangent universe, you go by Alicia. See, in my tangent universe, your name is still Jake. Is that right? It is Jake, if that is your real name. Ooh, you want to see a picture of my landlord? Ah, yeah. uh, you've caught my best side. Yeah, well, your best side is still trying to force me to pay rent even though everyone's lost their jobs. Luckily, I just came into a little bit of money. Hey, listen. What? Who is hey? I thought my name was Alicia. Who is hey? The horses. Oh, look. Okay. I've got a scram. Some eggs? Yeah. Cool. Well, I have to toast. To what? To our tangent universe encounter. And let's toast. Do you have any butter? I like that. Butter not leave that toast dry. Butter not. I've got Aaron's drawing. Okay. Nice seeing you, Alicia. That makes one of us. Two if there's a tangent universe. Who's to say? And who's to know? I'll see you around. Don't threaten me with a good time. There's no horses. This guy is the guy of my dreams. I mean, literally, he's been in my dreams. What you got there? Take a guess. Well, it looks like a book. It smells like a book. <laughs> what kind of book is it? What the defeat? Sounds delicious. Is it French? It sounds French. Was French. It's been translated. It's uh, loosely based off the Collier brothers, who are these hoarders that amassed so much junk that they were practically buried by it. They died of starvation. Their bodies were found two weeks apart. Nice bookmark. Yeah, I needed a placeholder. Frank gave that to me. Kind of funny, huh? Gives a. Uh, Putting your book down a whole new kind of meaning. Turns out it was torn from a cigarette ad. So what's the moral of that story? Uh, why don't you take the book and uh, maybe in a couple weeks we can uh, talk about it. But uh, I'll take that. Sentimental attachment.
Yeah. He was my boyfriend. Jake had been missing. One day I took a stroll through the park just to ease my mind. And then I saw it. The bike painted white and his photo. Yet there was no record of Jake's body. Ironically, that was our favorite spot to meet. And now I'm just here every day out of habit. A year ago, I was done with life. I had finished an entire bottle of booze on my own and was ready to start my journey to the other world. I hated myself, I was doing too many drugs. And then I met him and he weaned me off abusing myself. A few months later, we were seeing each other, but I was still living with Hugh, my boyfriend at the time. I wasn't as impulsive as I used to be to just run off and move in with Jake. I had to save up and get a place of my own. Hugh learned that I had been cheating on him with Jake. Hugh told me that he hoped Jake would die. And then this happened. I still fantasize about Jake. And Hugh sometimes does things that remind me of him and I instantly feel guilty. You said you're from somewhere else? How'd you come to be here before quarantine? Um, well, I guess since you're being so honest with me, I should be honest with you. Were you honest with Jake? No, not exactly. I, I moved here after the quarantine, not before. My mother had died. I was her only living relative, and she left me a little bit of money. I decided I was going to hitchhike across America. During my travels, I was picked up by a sort of hypochondriac. The man brought up this... Overseas plague! What if it spreads to the states? What if it spreads to the city? Has been in force. Citizens are being Panicking, the man being... thought we should stop at a station for gas. He gave me cash and the pump number and told me to go pay inside. But when I got to the service door, I realized the station was temporarily closed. I turned back, and the driver sped away, leaving me behind. The station never did open, and no cars ever drove by. I packed up what I could into my backpack and followed the road the driver had taken. But it led to nowhere, and gradually the road turned to dust. I spent a week maybe more out in the desert with no sign of life and no way of getting back to that station. <sighs> to keep my sanity, I started talking aloud to myself, even though my throat was parched. I thought I was finished. Until one night, I saw three men bickering on a road. I could hear their car engine running and saw the driver's wheel had been abandoned. I didn't want to take a chance. One of them had a gun. I bolted straight into their vehicle and sped off. That's why I was so happy to hear music on the radio. I thought the world had ended. <laughs> You're not gonna make it to the hospital. If I felt like that, I never would have survived this long. In the trunk of the car? There's a big bag of money. It's enough to start a whole new life. And then so. I want you to have it. How much money are we talking here? A good amount? A dangerous amount. How was I supposed to pass that up? I was presumed dead as far as I knew, so why not be someone new? Drive to Petropolis. Ditch the car. I wiped off any trace of my fingerprints. The police, they know who I am, but they'll never, they'll never, 
Face it, you've hit the jackpot. Wait a minute, you you said you met Jake during quarantine. That's when I moved here. That's impossible. Why? Because Jake died before quarantine. street they got a patio no thanks I mean you, you can keep your outfit on oh, is that your thing that's what you're into yeah, I'll talk to you soon. yeah. all right I guess I guess next session yeah Hey, Chrissy. You got a second? We just got a hot little tip. Why don't you, uh, step into the office here and give us your opinion on these, uh, surveillance videos. do you envision when you think of nature? What? What do you envision when you think of nature? I don't know. Um, forest, trees, rivers. Beasts. Yeah, animals. A bird building its nest? Because that's in the bird's nature, ain't it? To build a nest. Sure. Why? Um, it's because it's building its home. That's right. Houses, condos, skyscrapers. Those are all nests. Ain't that much of a difference, is there? Now, I would argue that stealing is also a part of nature. Hell, I would say that all well squad by mankind is a result of looting. As you see, once upon a time, we were all part of these equal footed tribes scattered across the globe. And one day, one tribe figure out how to steal from another tribe. They stole land, they stole goods, they stole intelligence. Hell, they even stole people. I mean, how do you think this country was built? Now here's the thing, we figured out a long time ago, once we stole some shit, we would make it illegal for anyone else to steal it from us. Now, Chris, I think it goes without saying that you're no longer going to be employed here. But I will not press charges. Won't know why. 
Why? Because I want to acquire something from you with the money you stole from me. What do you need? What do you need? It ain't about needing sugar, it's about wanting. And I want you to earn your freedom. I want you to dance for me. I'm not gonna take my clothes off for you. I'm not gonna. You can keep your desires, Kyle. It is not about that. I want you to dance your little heart out. I want you to. Bear your soul. It's been weeks since I've seen Crystal. I've tried to reach out, but her phone is dead. Maybe she got sick. Maybe she got the virus. So I call several hospitals and still, I keep striking out. And that's when it hits me. She's seeing someone. I reach out to her friends, but they're not too concerned. <laughs> Figures. I'm just the ex-boyfriend and it's Crystal. She does this. But her relatives haven't heard from her either. Or maybe they too are playing dumb. Then one morning, the toilet roll is on the wrong way, not the way I put it on. It's facing the other direction, paper dispensing backwards, the way Crystal does it. Crystal has been here. Two weeks have gone by and I've gone through all the motions. Concern, anger, resentment. Maybe she's trying to teach me a lesson. Maybe she decided to drop off the face of the earth and assumed a new identity. If ever there was a time to do it, and that's when I get the call. Hola. ¿Estás molesto conmigo? I don't even know who you are. Tuviste tu oportunidad. Y me dejaste plantada. Send me a photo. De? You, right now. Send me several. Pero no puedo hacer eso. No tienes otro misterio que resolver. Are you playing a game with me? Is that what this is? Tú eres quien empezaste a confiar en una extraña total. <laughs> what do you know about Crystal? Sé que es una interesada, una mundana malcriada, una Ellie Andrews con buena fe. Nah, she's not that big of a cliche. Puedes juzgar ese libro por su cubierta. For months I've been holed up. I've had groceries delivered, I've washed my clothing in the sink. Even with the country slowly reopening, returning to Norman phases. But the mystery woman's got her claws sunk in me deep. And all she has to do is spell the magic word. Vete. What? V E T E. No te causa dificultad sentirte excitado con cosas que van a pasar. 
porque nunca pasan. No se ha convertido como en una maldición. Fue por eso que no nos conocimos. I guess nothing can meet the expectations I have. Cuando voy a un sitio voy sin expectativas. Sin expectativas. Hay de soluciones. Well, that's tough. Don't think of a pink elephant and then you do. Entonces, inmediatamente cambias tus pensamientos a rata morada. Los cambias. Porque te están jodiendo los deseos y las intenciones. Hay ejercicios, Hugh. Maneras de pensar. Cambias para liberarte de lo que has pensado del mundo durante tanto tiempo. Porque mientras más viejos nos ponemos, creamos rutinas y rituales. Y después, no podemos ver más allá de ellos. Y ese es el beneficio de esta pandemia, ¿no? Es un espejo. Y puede que cada moneda tenga dos caras, pero solo hay una moneda. Two things appearing as opposing dualities are actually two extremes of the same thing. Tener una sola perspectiva es una trampa. Debes empezar con cosas simples. Tomar un camino diferente de la casa al trabajo. Te bajas de la cama por el lado izquierdo. Te lavas la boca con la mano derecha. Te masturbas con la mano izquierda. Well, what does that have to do with... Crystal. Ella nunca va a cambiar. Y esa es la penúltima pieza de tu rompecabezas. And just like that, I leave the house. La llamadora is right. I'd rather live on my feet than die on my knees. I've been terrified of leaving. But a walk should do me some good. For a little while, I can forget her. Or can I? Is that what that call was all about? That crystals ensnared me in her self-destructive rituals? And then? Hi, there you are. Come on, come on, come on. How was it? How was the Halloween party? You have a good time? Look a little drunk, you actually smell horrible. You smell just you smell, you smell exactly like how you look, like a dead, a dead, a dead, a dead, a dead man. All right now, now listen, listen, take this, take it, take it, take it, okay? Where's your mask? I mean, I understand, I see that you're wearing a mask, but where's your mask, mask? It's because everybody has got a mask on. All right, I guess, I guess that's just going to have to do. Now, now listen, you, you guys know what to do, right? When you go in, look just like our customers, then we're going to strike them from all sides, right? Strike them from all sides. We're going to strike them from all sides. Strike, strike, strike. Yeah, I'm right. getting the shakes, man. I mean, honestly. You're getting the shakes. Right now. Oh. You're getting the shakes right now. I hope that we can all just get in there and have a good time. Get in, get out. I'm not trying to make this a big thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make this a big, a big Thanksgiving miracle or whatever it is. I don't even know how to aim or anything, man. Uh, you've already lost your enough toilet right, breath, you, eh? you, What, what? You want to go out there? Keep working for peanuts and then get sick when this disgusting thing on top of all of it. Is that what you want? Oh, do you want yeah. to die? Do you want to die? You want to die. Do you want to oh, die? Is that what you fucking oh, want? Oh. Do you want to die? You want to see your lung on the ground. <laughs> careful, be careful with that. It's a loaded gun. Put it, put it down. <laughs> Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. We are, we just got fuck that was okay. Listen, listen, everyone, just calm the fuck down. Just calm down. I mean, how much money's in that safe anyway, man? A good amount. A dangerous amount. It is a lot. It's, it's, it's good. gonna love it. It's gonna be love festive. It. It's gonna be it. festive. More money than you can hold in both hands. Come on, Donnie, let's go. Right now, you don't. You've already been through this. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Nah, no thanks. Right. Go straight to my thigh bones, you know? Yeah. You yeah. get it. There <laughs> we go. All right, well, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.
<laughs> this is real. God damn. <laughs> Bookmark. It's not weird, it's just torn from an ad. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. John Wilkes Booth's brother saved Abe Lincoln's son from falling onto a train track without realizing the connection. An engaged couple found out their parents almost got married 40 years prior. And on the other side of the world. Believe it or not, Alec Guinness predicted James Dean's death. Even the exact date. Or the universe itself. False vacuum like a mirage. That would give way if it met the real deal. Cigarette? No thanks. Coffee? I'm pretty caffeinated. Oh, I finished one too. Yeah. Crystal mentioned we're pretty good at those. Real cute. You two talked about me? Who's the recurring mug? That's my brother Evan. Oh, yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. Half brother. He'd uh, been missing. And here I thought you were supposed to be dead. Ain't difficult during these times to become anonymous. So I let Crystal think I wasn't amongst the living. What, you couldn't break up with her like a normal sociopath? Eh, hey, you don't know how these men operate. They don't stop. Not until they've dug out all the roots. Well, I must have misread the paper or something. Well, you want to be a little newsy and fill me in on what's going on? Hmm. These uh, guys come over to my place. They ask about Evan. Now, I knew my brother was involved in something real big, but I had to get to him before they did. See, there was this dime store robbery a few weeks back, and Evan was a victim of circumstance. Now, he wasn't just a hostage. He caught a slug in the gut from a cop. 
Law enforcement at its finest. Well, the robbers were cross. See, it turns out that the fella who tipped them off about the safe in the shop exaggerated a bit about the fortunes, which there was a lot of. How much is a lot? Dangerous lot. But they were after something else in that safe. So they paid the informant a visit. A fella by the name of, uh... Bugs Dooley. Now, Dooley isn't a common name, but I... Do recall seeing the name at a record shop once on a sign? I learned who the owner is. Forster Dooley. No shit, Bugs' brother. So, I find out where Forster lived and I paid him a visit. So what's with this rah-rah show? No, I don't know. But I was told that that was your favorite show, the Rah Rah Show. Oh, I haven't seen it in ages. I had to watch every episode of the Rah Rah Show so I could talk to you about the Rah Rah Show. No, you did not. How many did you watch? I didn't even know Forrester had a brother. That's how estranged they are. He paid us a visit, stayed a couple of days, but left immediately. That Bugs is a real piece of work, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> And it all checked out. Neighbors confirmed they saw Bugs, who they assumed was Forrester walking with a flight ticket. Seems like our boy Bugs wanted to get out of Dodge fast. A witness saw Bugs forced into a car that matched the one at the scene of the crime. You're a regular Philip Marlowe. Investigative reporter for Petropolis Weekly. Well, in the past life. For someone who faked, no. Nah. Let people assume they were dead. This guy sure does have a nice apartment with a lot of different arrangements and accomplishments on the walls. Which means Crystal was either putting on a show for me that Jake had bitten the dust. You know what happened. Or she found out later that Jake was faking a Hoffa. But I leave well enough alone. Or I try to at least because no matter how hard I tried to ignore Crystal, I still kept poking at the flames could knowing I'd get burned. So I entertained him some more. If you put all this together, what makes you think these other JoJo's have it? They have. They found Evan in the getaway car. Yet there is no trace of the money or bugs or the robbers. This Evan's dead corpse breaks my heart. So who are these guys? You heard of DeMille? I've picked up a paper. Now you know who owns that liquor store. Hey, you only had nice things to say about you. So, these guys killed your brother, and Bugs, and you got gangsters involved. What's this got to do with Crystal? Well, Crystal had a fling with someone she shouldn't have. She slept? She slept with your brother? No, 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 no. <laughs> a woman named Lane. It didn't take her long. Oh, you are know. Lane had the stolen money. Luckily, I just came into some money. See? Crystal had listened in on the phone call Evan had given me on his last dying breath, and she heard Evan tell me that he'd given Lane the dough, where she'd gone, and her description. Well, that clever brother of mine, while in the trunk of the getaway car, he managed to sneak his phone into the money bag for cautionary measures. After that, it wasn't hard to trace Lane and get very well acquainted. Why have you come here? You know, you put me in a difficult position. You already know, Jake. I like puzzles. Well, let me give it to you straight. Crystal's dead, Hugh. I thought if I go see Crystal that these men wouldn't get to her to get to me. Didn't realize my plans to lay low would get compromised. I just came into a little money. Yet, stranger things have happened. DeMille's men caught up with Lane. <laughs> but she had been duped by Crystal. <laughs> Crystal had gotten close to her. <laughs> no! <laughs> and Lane had gotten comfortable. Since you're being so honest with me, I should be honest with you. It wasn't long before they tracked Crystal's whereabouts. Oh. Oh. Ah. 
So, Crystal wouldn't happen to so be in that closet over there. Voluntary or not? Te juro, man. There's no one here. Y esa camita ahí? There wouldn't happen to be a shitload of money under that bed right there, would there? No. Go ahead, take a look. Same thing you do to me, or? Hey, you know I'm good at it. Yeah, I know you're good. I've got you beat. I gotta take this. Seis, uno, seis. How many floors is in this building? I don't know, five? So, you satisfied, Puzzle Boy? <laughs> it's Puzzle Man. And no, I'm not satisfied. Because you know, Jake, when you finish one puzzle, it leads to another one, man. Let the door kick you in the ass. Yeah, likewise. Seis, uno, seis. Hola, Hugh. Te estaba esperando. First, we're getting a jacuzzi. Yeah, we should fill it up with some candy corn. Okay. Hey, taxi! Miss Fox. She, 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 she's as good as she's as 
Got it in that tent. 